Oops. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so today I'm off to Best FM 100.1. It's my first radio interview for Touch Road again. So, feeling the vibes. My sister's accompanying me. So, here we go. Yo. Yeah, man. So, Best FM right now. Uh, for the interview, it's somewhere off Hagley Park Road. Nice looking okay. area. Manga season here in Jamaica. You know? So, yeah, man. Get ready to do the thing. Yo, so I just realized that this will be the first time the song plays on Jamaican radio. What do you think about that stuff? That's exciting. I look back on there. That's exciting. Mm. I'm excited. Yeah. And you, you know, the backup vocals and thing. How you feel? Like your voice will be on the radio. I don't know. Mm. I'm excited. Excited, yeah. 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 I have um done TV interviews before. I've done one radio interview before. Uh, but obviously not for something like this. I think the last time I went to my brethren's radio show and we we're just kinda like hanging out, mm. talking about no, we we're talking about the booker. Mm. I think my brethren had a show called Meet Me at Midnight. And I went on the air, even did some freestyling and stuff, so so the host I'm seeing today, Jerry Small, he's like very, very smart, one of the radio legends here, um, you know, so we're just going to vibe with him, chat with him about the production, I think it's going to be like 15 minutes, so depending on how I record or set up, you know, you'll get to pre the interview, is it me? Yes, we're going to introduce our guest here, now he's a son of, and a daughter of one of my good brethren, um, Mr. Everton Bird, otherwise I'm going, I'm going to make him give him, him full professional and um, and uh, professional name. Not, not even professional, him African name. Yeah. Peku, Peku, right? Jagu Peke Yangu. Peke, Peke, Peke. Yeah, Jagu Peke Yangu. Yes, man. Um, is an attorney at law, Everton Bird, who been singing for a long time because I remember it's at least 1986 that I first know of him putting out some music somewhere about there. About. That's the exact date. Yes, yeah, yes. man, brilliant. Yeah, this is why I've introduced myself. Yeah, man, I am Marcus Bird, also known as Birdimus, son of yes. Tony Bird. Yes. Chago Peke Yango here with my sister yes. Safia Bird in the studio. Right. Yeah, man, greetings, Jamaica. Yeah, and it was 1990, 18, 1986 mm -hmm. that I, um, as I say, became aware of Bird um, putting out his music about apartheid, about Haiti later, about the cricket, about the professionalization and the piracy going on under the cricket mm. and then I remember 1987 Marcus gave a centenary his music was even that much more appreciated mm -hmm. because at the time the of it you know plenty of people they take them a time for really um, absorb or process the fact that boy this is a, a young lawyer being so engaged and still um, and still doing the work yeah, I mean, he's yeah. actually the, the first lawyer in the commonwealth yeah. to be a singer yeah. as well as an attorney i think there was a female but no maybe mm -hmm. she wasn't a lawyer at the time okay okay i think it's, pro it's protege mother one of them ladies there was a, was a mm -hmm, possibly yeah yeah but she was a, but maybe she never it is doubtful whether she did um become a lawyer by that time okay so maybe she's the first female yes mm -hmm. and um yeah man i remember him clearly in, in 87 eh? So let us play the first piece of music by him. What is the name again? Alright, so this track is called Touch Road Again. Yeah. Good. And um, the story behind it, real quick, is it actually ties back to the time of my father. Because yeah. I was listening to his instrumental for a track he had yeah. called Apartheid Lives. Mm. And it just spoke to me. Um, because, you know, we've all been locked up for a while and unable to move with certain kinds of freedom. Separated, like, yeah. a, like apartheid. Yeah, in its own way. And then, you know, there are also things that have been going on in the world. But I just said, boy, you know, I want to see the river, the beach, I want to relax. And the song speaks to that. Mm -hmm. You know, so touch road again, you know, is that time when we touch the road again, have a good vibration with friends and family. And mm -hmm. you know, it's a song you can ease to and relax to. And trust me, you're going to enjoy it. Yeah, and then you know, when in it, while still being confined, mm. that's one of the purposes of music and art generally. While still being confined, you use this music to comfort yourself. So it won't, things won't be the things won't be the same way that you don't like it to be. Others, um, there's a look forward, you know. Yeah. 
definitely. Let's hear that piece of music. We have it there. Touch road. Yeah, that is that is Pecky and Birdy Moss, Bird. And um, yesterday my son was in here briefly. And we leave the island this morning. Mm. Back to Georgia. No, no, South Carolina. And people were saying, boy, it is so good to see the rapport between a father and son. Well, it's this them was here. Mm. This them was here. A father and son recording. And daughter. And yes, and daughter. Introduce her again, please. Safia Bird. Nice. Safia, can say something. I want to take the mic out of our face because the mic not good looking. Oh. oh. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, man, you're good. Hi, yeah, everybody. Yeah, the camera, the camera. Put it lower, please. Okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. Hi, everybody. My name is Safia Bird. Yeah. And I sing background in the chorus of this song. Nice, nice. So, what do you do otherwise? Well, I am currently going to become a student again. Yeah. So, but yes. In what area? Um. Psychology. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, that, and, and both our parents are law, our attorneys, lawyers. Both our parents. Nice. Yes. Um. So, how early you got involved in the music? Um. Well, you know, I I am a, a visual creative. You know, I studied mm -hmm. film in school. Oh yeah. It was, so, yeah, de um, depending on who knows me, yeah. Some people know me as a photographer. Some people know me as a designer. Some people know me as a writer. Yeah. Some people know me as a producer. Mm -hmm. And two years ago, I said to myself, you know, I want to challenge myself to step into fear. Yeah. I like to, I don't like leaving any stone unturned. And yeah. I asked myself a question. I said, what's the scariest thing I can do right now? Yeah. And to me, that question, the answer was music. Yeah. Because even though I've done a lot of things, I yeah. said, it's a talent I have that I never explored. Yeah. And that's that, that, that from school days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you know, you're with your bridgings and you, you freestyle or you write songs. But I actually wrote songs, composed songs, but I never performed them or anything. And and it was when I was doing a production in 2016 yeah. that I actually had to go to the studio as a director. Yeah. And somebody fell through, and I said, "All right, I'll do the track." Okay. And then I just figured out the process, and I said, "Wow, you know, it wasn't as difficult as I thought." Yeah. And that that planted the seeds right there. Um, the so you went to high school in Jamaica? Yeah, man, yeah, man. And uh, where that was? I went to Campion up to fifth form. Yeah. And then I went to Woolmers oh, yeah. for sixth form, yeah. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Where your father, like Norman Manley, went to? Celebrate Columbus. The also celebrate Mussolini and John Swartz, Butcher, Cecil Rhodes. Napoleon Bonaparte, Scipio Africanus. Why not celebrate? The ending of a slave trade. Hey, 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 why not celebrate? Oh, yes. History calls it the mama uprising. Hey, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. My Lord, why, Lord? Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Why, Lord? Because positive things, we must tell the youth. We can't tell them no lie, we have to tell them the truth. Certain celebrations we must Yes, that is uh, Peke, Yango, and Tony Rebel. Matter of fact, it's two Tony because you know Everton Bird also grew up as Tony Bird and that's Tony Rebel, Tony Barrett also there. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, what with the things that are going on now and the things that are coming to a head because they've been going on some of them hundreds of years and coming to a head now because when when a lot of people become aware of the same thing at the same time it become a critical mass and a, a, a tidal change a changing tide you know things start move the other way the whole sea a sea change i'm calling it a sea change yeah so um we're going to have one more piece of music and glad that you that you can you could make it here even though peg himself as a busy man can mm. be here yeah man yeah man well, so Glad to be here. Yeah. So, by the way, you, you, you are trained in film, right? Yes. So, you, you, what do you use that? You don't use it now apart from your camera, your good camera that you have here with you. No, man, I work on, I work on productions, you know, help brands 
think outside the box and create interesting things, interesting creations, you know. Mm. Um, so I make films on my YouTube channel. I make, you know, I shot my first video and directed it. Um, these kind of things um, is is one of my lanes, you know. Okay, good. Yeah. And and the, the change that the world has gone through in the last six, seven months mm. going to give you more opportunity to creative people to to fit into the um the, the, needs, the new paradigm. The new needs, yes. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense because even this song that I made, Touch Road Again, came from that place because it, it was easy to kinda sit down and start despairing and yeah. and saying, you know, the sky is falling, the world is ending. Yeah. Because in that moment I decided I said, can I do something positive? Can I do something I can control? Because there's yeah. so much you can't control. And I said, I want to do at least something I can control. And my father happened to be playing, like I said, instrumental, just randomly, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm listening to the thing now with a musician's ears. Yeah. And I said, yeah, man, we we'll have to immediately jump on this. Yeah. So I had to give my sister my phone and say, record us with a freestyle. And the first line you hear on the, on the track, um, when I say, um, want to see the rivers, I'm a want to see the beach. That was in the freestyle. Yeah. When you hear, was, um, what you say, what you say, hey, hey, that harmonization, yeah. that was from my father in the freestyle. And that's a big issue because the rivers and the beaches, apart from mm. the COVID restriction, the rivers and the beaches are threatened because more and more of the public, all of the rivers and all the beaches are supposed to be public. Yeah. But all, more and more of the rivers and beaches are being privatized now. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to take a hell of a fight to, to um, reverse all of them things. Not impossible though. No, not impossible. But you know, it, it, it fits into this energy where, you know, the first thing you notice after people were inside for a while is that people started walking in front of their houses. I just saw people walking, getting fresh air and the sun. And we kind of reset and went back to semi-natural because that's what we're supposed to do. We're not really supposed to be in a office all day, you know, and when confined. we're into... Huh? Confined. Yeah, not confined, you know. So when you naturally just find people, some neighbors I've never seen <laughs> before walking, getting some sunshine, exercising, and, you know, it's, it's kind of refreshing to see that. That's a natural human state. So when you're giving energy out there positively and it comes back, you know, it's a, it's a good vibration overall. Yeah, well, good. We're going to play one more piece of music. And thank you for having been here. Yeah, man. So you and Sapphire. Yeah, man. So this um this track is from the Apartheid Lives album that was released in '86, and it's another one of my father's tracks. And it's Down by the River. And Down by the River, I said, is very relevant to what's happening right now. You know, where we're going back to the rivers and the beaches, and this is a real ode to that lifestyle of the river and just that vibrant atmosphere and the joy it gives people. Right about that. Yeah. By the way, um, mm -hmm. something Miguel Lawn has a program mm -hmm. on this station every Wednesday night. So last night evening, so last evening from six to ten, mm -hmm. his program named Bitter Sugar, and I think he started it out. Is either him or Muta mm -hmm. started out the program with Peck. I think it's Miguel. Okay. Start, yeah, start out the program. And there's something else that that he, that he touched on that about a later going to talk about it. Okay. Yes, yeah, let's get the music. What's the name of it again? All right, it's Down by the River, another track by my father, Jago Pekayango. All right, let's go. I'm going to cut into it here. Yes, that is Peke Yango down by the river. And we, we are so glad to have had his son and his daughter here. Yeah, man, thanks for having us. Yeah, man, and um, you keep in touch and let us know what you're doing. Yeah, man, definitely. You can, you can find me on Instagram at Birdimus Prime. Yes. B I R B I R D I M U S P R I M E Prime. Yes. You know, my YouTube channel is Marcus Bird TV. All right. Yeah, man. And Safiya, nice to have you. Hi, Safiya. You can find Safiya. me on Instagram at sa.fi.ya. All right. Thank you very much. Oops. Hey, guys. What's up? All right. So, first interview is done. Song got played on the radio for the first time. Uh, I feel really grateful to have been able to talk to Mr. Jerry Smalls. He is one of the legendary podcasters here. He's a musicologist and he's also a good friend of my father. And as my sister said to me earlier, it was interesting that he would be the first person to play the track on the radio. 
because not only does he know my father's music and this track came from my father's music but he also has a really really strong appreciation of music on a whole and to talk to somebody like him is a good first step so you don't know promotion continues um we're gonna touch the road again mm -hmm. Touch road again. We're gonna touch road again. <laughs> um, you know, more promotions coming up, setting up more interviews. You know, what I'm saying we're aiming for like the Smile Jamaica's and the CBM at Sunrises and the Zip 103s and whatever is you see me. So, kaboom. Touch road again. We are gonna touch road again.